Hello, Intuitive Life Network. My name is Linda Miner and I'm a registered nutritionist. This month, I know that you all have been working on setting goals and I'm gonna help you set some other goals for your nutrition, health, and wellness. The first goal that I'm gonna to talk to you about in this series is about drinking more water. Now, I'm sure that many of you are sick and tired about hearing about drinking more water, but maybe it's never really been explained to you why you need to drink more water. The water is required for every function in the human body. Recently, I was in the Dominican Republic and, and on the beach, I, looking out at the expanse of ocean, I couldn't help but realize we are surrounded by water. This, our entire earth is about 70% water. Well, guess what? That's what it is on the inside of the body too. Now, as I was beside the ocean, I could physically see the water and I was very aware of its presence. But in our body, we're, we're, we're solid. We, we don't see the water. We aren't aware of the fact that there's so much water inside our body. But it is important for you to understand that you are 70% water. If you've ever had a nosebleed where you have been couldn't make it stop, you may have a realization of how much you actually carry in your body. If you've ever given blood, it's kind of shocking to see how much comes out and to know that there's still more in there. So it's very, very important that you're getting enough water in the day. So let's start with the mouth. Now in our mouth, we produce saliva. Makes me want to swallow just saying it. We produce saliva and on an average day, we produce one liter of saliva. So a liter is four cups. Anywhere from four to six cups of saliva is produced in our mouth on a daily basis. Now saliva is 99.5% water. Okay, so that's just the beginning. That's the beginning of the digestive system. Now it gets recir uh, um, recycled and recirculated into the system, but it is there. Now, the mouth is the beginning of digestion. Okay, so it starts in the mouth, goes down the esophagus, gets to the stomach, small intestines, large intestines, etc. Throughout that whole process, more and more and more fluids are being produced to help with digestion. So in the course of a day, you're going to have trouble believing this, but in the course of the day, seven of these, seven liters, 28 cups of fluid is actually produced in your digestive system. Now again, that gets recircled and recycled, <laughs> I can't speak, recycled and recirculated through your system. Um, so it's not literally 28 cups, but that's how much fluid is being produced on a daily basis in your body. I mean, that's an incredible amount of fluid. Now here's what happens. Let's say you don't drink enough. Maybe you only have two or three cups of water a day, even though you should be having eight to 10. Your brain, as a first line of defense, sends a signal to your mouth that says, slow down the production of saliva. That's when you feel thirsty. The human body is incredibly well designed to send these kind of signals to you on a daily basis to say, hey, time to fill up the tank. Just like when you feel hungry, it's because you're low on nutrients. So when you're low on water, the signal to the body is stop saliva, make the body thirsty, and then hopefully you will respond to that and fill it up. Okay, so we've talked about digestion. Now, there are other functions in the body that are extremely vital. Your heart beating, obviously without a heart beating, uh, you're dead. So you need your heart to beat, you need your lungs to breathe, you need your brain to be able to function, you need your liver to get rid of toxins and as well as your kidneys to flush out those toxins. Your pancreas is regulating your blood sugar all day long. All of these internal organs are so vital to the body that they require a lot of water and they are the top priority for your system. So let's say you are exercising, okay? Maybe you're trying to lose some weight. So you're exercising, which is causing you to sweat, which is, means you're losing water. It's uh, raising your heartbeat. So your heart is having to work harder, which it's supposed to do. You're breathing faster. Uh, so that's got your lungs working really hard. You are producing some toxins in your body from exercising. So that's got your liver working. So all of those things are very vital. One of the things that you want to have happen when you're exercising is to start burning fat. That's usually the point of exercising. So you start burning fat. Well, this is really quite a complicated process to burn fat. It doesn't just, you know, fall off. We all know that. What happens is fat first has to be converted into glucose, which is the kind of sugar that the body uses for energy. Okay, so this is trying to happen. In the meantime, your heart, lungs, 
kiver and, uh, kidney and liver are all working really hard as well. Now, if you don't have enough water in your system, this fat burning process is going to have trouble happening because all of that fat metabolism, turning the fat into glucose, requires quite a bit of water to happen. But as I said earlier, your heart, lungs, etc., always take priority because without those things happening, you are going to, to die. So if you don't have enough water in your system, that fat burning really isn't going to happen or it's going to happen at a very minimal level. So here you are, you're working out, you're doing everything you can. You've been eating right, you're working out three, four times a week, um, you're trying to follow a very careful regime. And at the end of the week or the month, you go into the bathroom, step on the bathroom scales, and you haven't lost any weight. And you're so frustrated. Nothing's changing, you don't understand. Why am I not losing weight? Or why am I gaining weight? Okay, so here's the problem. You're not drinking enough water. So it's not uh, to be annoying to tell you to drink more water. The point is you need it. You need it for these basic functions in your body to happen like burning fat. So here's the goal for the month. Take your body weight. Let's say you weigh 160 pounds. You can use a calculator to figure this out if you need to. Take your body weight, divide that by two. So 160 divided by two is 80. That's how many ounces of water you should be drinking. So a four cup, measure like this is 32 ounces. So you need to have at least two of these a day to be getting the amount that you need. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh my gosh, if I'm drinking that much water, I'm going to be going to the bathroom every 10 minutes. So what we want to do is build up to it gradually. So maybe uh, you're like me and you have uh, glasses like this. A glass like this is a cup and a half of water. So to start with, let's set a goal. The first thing in the morning, you'll fill up a glass like this and drink it, even before you have breakfast or do anything else. Just chug it back. If you need to add some lemon juice to make it more palatable, totally fine. Then at lunchtime, have another one and always have it before you eat. This will help to prepare your digestive system for the food that's coming. And then if you feel like it, let's have the goal of having one at dinner, okay? So already now we've had four and a half cups of water in the day. Now throughout the day, you may also have had some juice or tea or something like that, which will add to it. So then what we want to do is over the next two, three, four weeks, increase that amount. Maybe in the morning you have one and a half cups of water and at lunch one and a half cups and just gradually build up to it. The other thing you can do, take a container like this. Now this container holds about three cups of water. So if you fill this up first thing in the morning and try to drink it throughout the morning, maybe while you're at work or at home, and then at lunchtime, fill it up again and again, drink it throughout the day, then you will have had six cups of water in the course of the day. These are not expensive. Now let's set a goal to go out and buy one of these and fill it up and use. So either way, you can either use your cup if you're at home or if you're on the road, use one of these. And just set the goal to try to consume one of these a day to start and then maybe one and a half and then two and then try to start with two or three cups of water a day. Now what I'd like you to do is go to my website, which is myhealthybalance.com. Again, that's my, M-Y, healthy, H-E-A-L-T-H-Y, balance, B-A-L-A-N-C-E.com, myhealthybalance.com. You will find a blog posting there on water and explain again why it's important. And then there are other blog posts there as well that are going to give you more ideas, thoughts to consider. There's lists of MSG and other products there. You can also see some of my products that are available and the services that I provide. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video where we're gonna be setting another goal. But let's start with drinking more water.